I'm Kathleen S. Miller, and I'm the Administrative Assistant to the Secretary of the Army. I'm Diane Randon, and I'm the Assistant Deputy Chief of Staff for the Army G2. My name is Cheryl Partee. I am the Director of Workforce Development and Training for Assistant Secretary of the Army, Financial Management and Comptroller. I'm Maura Mitchell. I'm the Team Lead for Budget Formulation in the Army Budget Office Management and Controls Directorate. My name is Priya Upal, and I work as a Financial Analyst for the Installations Portfolio. The Army really runs on money, and so the ability to help the Army manage the dollars it actually gets from Congress and apply it to our mission areas and change those applications as we go through time and as priorities change is a crucial skill set. In this business, you know numbers is a love-hate relationship, quite frankly. You either love it or you hate it, and I actually love it. I'm a proud Army daughter. My brother's in the Army Reserves, and I'm engaged to be married to an Army officer this summer. So needless to say, Army runs in my blood. And I always had an itch for public service, but there was something about affecting change on the very installations that I grew up on that was appealing to me. And today I program funding for those very installations. I knew growing up that I had an affinity for math. I always liked math, it came easily to me, so I had a feeling that working in something that involved data and numbers was going to be something that would hold my interest. I actually started my career in Army Finance as a GS3, clerk typist in Fort Hood, Texas. When I was in the Army, I worked with the S3 and, and dealing with uh, reports and financial reports and those kind of things, so that got me into that office and, and helped uh, jumpstart my career. As a military spouse at the time, uh, we got sent overseas to Heidelberg, Germany, and I then found myself unemployed. The uh, resource manager um, at the G2 in uh, USRA at the time uh, hired me in a sort of, as an administrative assistant. That person saw potential in me that I didn't see. I have a degree in applied economics from Cornell University. Uh, looking for jobs as an overseas military spouse Economics isn't something we hire a lot of, but close to that's comptrollership. And I uh, was selected for a position as a family member hire in accounting, and that's where I started. I found I could make a difference, and making a difference is what kind of fired me up for this career. I graduated college thinking I was ready to conquer the world, and instead I ended up on an installation where I was the lowest on the totem pole in terms of grade. I didn't understand any of the acronyms, and I was surrounded by people that had been in their professions for, for decades, and I kind of had to take a step back, be patient, be humble, and be a sponge to try and absorb as much as I could from those around me. The advice I would give to others that are in the early stages of their career is to find a mentor early, and not just one, find as many as you can that are willing to support you and help you grow and develop. A mentor is somebody that helps you with your skill development, with giving you that constant constructive feedback. I think I needed it most when I came to Washington, D.C. I felt like a fish out of water, if you will, and I had multiple mentors here. One of my mentors at the time um, told me that they had three words for me, which was coach, not do, uh, because I had a tendency to kind of suck in everything that was hard to do or if people weren't moving fast enough and do it myself, which didn't really help anybody. Be a leader where you help your team learn and then can, can have uh, more people, knowledgeable people to apply to the problem, I think is a real important piece. So I first met Miss Randon when she came in as the resources director when I was recent, I had just graduated from the CP11 intern program. Her encouragement and belief in me to give, trust me with the responsibility to fill in that important role in the installations peg has been what has enabled me to get to where I am today in my career. Laura was always taking that intent and giving me you know, kind of more than what I had envisioned. And it's like, wow, this is great. And I think that's how I see mentorship. It's not so much that I arm employees with the right tools to go seek a mentor. I need to help be that mentor for others who don't know how to ask or see uh, what they should be doing for their career. There have been a lot of women who have carved a path for success, both in uniform and in civilian clothes, um, that have established a credibility in their skill sets and in the advice and counsel they provide to the most senior leaders. 
it's important to have a vision for your skill set and to be deliberate in achieving that vision, whether it's signing up for a course online, attending the Defense Comptrollership Program, or, or reading articles about something you may be interested in. Keep developing yourself, keep working at making yourself better. Whatever your discipline is in Army Finance, and I'm talking whether you're an accountant, whether you're a budgeteer, an auditor, or whatever that discipline is, become a master of your craft. You have to embrace change. You've got to look for the opportunity within that change and focus yourself on that. Every time I was scared of a change or scared to take an opportunity, it ended up being one of the best experiences. You have to be willing to take a chance, you know, trust in yourself, you know, try to find the confidence to know it will be okay. Chances are you're gonna do great. More you progress, the greater change and impact you can affect on an organization. And I feel like I still have quite a bit left to learn from the Army and so much more left to give. The Army is more a more welcoming place to women in leadership than perhaps it was uh, when I started. There weren't just not a lot of women on the Army staff or in the Army Secretariat. Um, so kudos to my mentors along the way, most of whom were male because that's who there was to mentor you. I've had the joy and experience to just feel like an employee and that it never felt like, well, you know, we, we need to treat her differently because she's a woman. And I just, and I'm very grateful for all the women who went before me, if there were any glass ceilings shattered or if there was any way that they had to work harder, it gave me a pathway that was easier. I wanna make sure that, that that people understand those opportunities are there. The Army Budget Office leadership is entrusting me to become the acting division chief of the Budget Formulation Division and the Management and Controls Directorate. It's a very important next step in my career and I'm really looking forward to it. I guess my advice to someone starting Army Finance is think big, as big as you can think.